In this video, we're going to find a linear regression for um, the data that represents year, and we can call this um, the amount of money that you can sell your book back for or something, in year 0, 1, 2, and 3. So um, to start, we need to establish that we're going to let our x values represent the year, and our y values represent those dollar amounts so that when we input the data, we know that we're going to look for y, or dollars, as a function of x, which would be a function of years. To do this on the TI-86, we want to start by entering our data. We're going to go to the list menu, which is right here, so I'm going to go second, followed by list. I want to edit my data, so I'm going to hit edit, and I already have values in x stat and y stat, and this is where I'm going to enter my data. So I need to arrow up so that I'm highlighting the x stat name, and notice I've got all the values listed down here. I'm going to hit clear, don't hit delete, I'm going to hit a clear button followed by enter. I'm going to do the same thing in y stat before I enter my data. So I'm going to arrow up to the name, got all of the data listed there in set brackets, I hit clear and then enter. Now over to my x stat list. This, these are going to be my year values, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm going to hit 0 and then enter. You could do the down arrow if you want, but enter is closer. 1, enter 2, enter 3, enter. And I'll arrow over. Make sure that you're in the first table value, not at the table name. So I arrow over to the first table value and enter in my dollar amounts. So 27, 30, 41, and 47. Now I'm ready to leave the table and ask the calculator to compute a linear regression. I'm going to hit exit, and I'm going to go to the stat menu, which is right below the list menu. I hit second, stat, to access the stat menu. I want a calculation, so I choose F1 for calc. I want a linear regression. Oh, let me clear that I accidentally hit it twice. I don't want one bar, I want a linear regression, which is the third one. So I hit L-I-N-R for linear regression. Don't hit enter yet because it's waiting to know what data you want. I want x stat comma y stat. So I need to go to my list names. So I go back to the list menu to grab those second list names. I'm looking for the x stat name and mine happens to be on the second one, F2. Yours might be on F1 or somewhere different, but you're looking for that x stat name or wherever you put the years. So I'm going to go ahead and enter an x stat by hitting F2 for mine. Yours might be on a different cell. And then the comma is next to the 4. Y stat for me is on F3. But hit whichever button is associated with your Y stat. Now we can hit enter. So what it gives me is a general linear equation. Y equals AX plus B. It found A, which is that slope. So I can rewrite this as y equals, gave me 25.6, so 25.6x plus b, which is 7.1. It also gave me a correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient is r, and the r value that it gave me is 0.979. We want that to be close to 1. Because that's fairly close to 1, we can say that we have a strong linear correlation. If it was close to 0, we'd say that we didn't have a strong linear correlation.